Hello and welcome to this video. I'm John T500 and this is a multi-class endurance championship highlight video. In this video I'll be showing some highlights from a race that we had quite a long time ago. I believe this would be round 5 or 6. I'm not exactly sure, I think it's 5. And uh, in the, for this race we are in off-roads, off-road vehicles and uh, I'm personally GD1 and driving a Bifta. So first corner is not the greatest for me, you know. Uh, I started in fourth position, but uh, right at the first corner I lost that position to Hissen and uh, fell back into fifth position. But still, it's only one corner in, and anything could still happen. So as you can see, at this race we are uh, in racing in rain, which always affects stuff. In, uh, in racing, but here I got a really lucky line managed to get in on the inside of Hissen and also then on the inside of Steak Sauce and managed to gain two position at once and move up into third that might be one of the best overtakes I have uh, done and uh, I really enjoyed that one I'm not uh, really used to driving this car at all, really, and uh, I'm also not at this point used to this track. It's a relatively new track and I haven't gotten too much practice on it, and as you can see, with the rain it's not even close to easy. And uh, at least for me it gets a lot harder just because, you know, ex unexperienced on track, unexperienced in the car, and well, still, I'm just gonna do the best I can of it. This portion of the track with these hairpins might be my greatest weakness when it comes to this particular track even today because I just can't seem to find good lines through it and uh, it's definitely not one of my favorite tracks. One thing I need to tell you about is that I uh, have not, I did not, uh, this is round 5 and uh, I did not uh, participate in round 6 because of I couldn't make it home in, ti in uh, time for the race. So you're not gonna see a highlight video of uh, round 6 from me, but uh, I have some footage from round 7 that I'm gonna edit and uh, talk about, you know, so you can see that. But if you're expecting a round 6 uh, highlight video from me, you're not gonna sadly enough get it. So right now on the inside of there you see Chris D22 and uh, he's uh, really wanting to get past me because I know he's really fast but uh, I don't give up positions easily and there everyone who wants to pass me is going to have to fight for that position. So I get into this corner and he is of course really anxious to get past me but there's no there, there's no uh, he don't need to like push me over like that you know we both lost two position because uh, he dive bombed me in that corner and uh, it was really unnecessary I think you know he didn't have the inside fully locked in so he didn't have uh, the right to take that and Abe Gunners managed to get past there and also build up a little bit of a gap but uh, Steak Sauce in the back he managed to take back that position as you saw in the next corner but uh, really in these kind of rain races you have to really think about your lines much uh, more and also think about breaking points because you have to have a lot earlier breaking points. There I got a complete brain fart, I don't know what the hell I was doing but uh, Chris and Hissen managed to take over me and now I'm back into 6th and uh, the race is not looking too good for me and uh, Mayor Ryan is right there to try and uh, overtake me. 
So I keep the inside here. Try and lock Ryan out a little bit. Hopefully I didn't hit him, hit him there during the race, but uh, at least he didn't tell me anything about it, so I guess I didn't. So, in this corner right here you see Danny VXWK on the left there making a mistake so that allows me to get back up into fifth and uh, of course you feel bad for him because of the mistake he made but still it's good for me and uh, I, when I get into this section here I see that Hisen has had some problems and uh, I am now quite close to fourth and uh, it's gonna be a good battle to try and get past him or at least it needs to be my main focus so he gets out on the inside and catches a little bit of an oyster and I also go really wide but still manage to keep my speed and capture fourth position a little bit later still in fourth and uh, I managed to work my way up quite good and as you see here I so uh, someone goes really wide I don't remember who it was it was like oh there so it was Chris D22 and uh, because of that I'm now back up I, I managed to get up into third position which is a really good result for me if I can finish finish the race at this position but you know I make a mistake exiting the highway over there and Chris managed to take back third and I'm back, in, back into fourth you know accidents happen often in these kind of races you know that's just a part of it especially when it's raining traction is much lower so I catch a lot of uh, some oversteer right there also and Mayor Ryan gets the run on me on the inside and uh, now I have dropped back into 5th position so now going back into 5th position is of course not fun to do so but so in here this one did not go well at all I make a complete big mistake I get caught on the rocks and I'm I'm stuck you know, I, can't, I can't get loose from this so I have to respawn and after the respawn I have now dropped back into 8th position which is really not what I wanted to see Massacre Maze is uh, of course in 7th, that's who I'm fighting for position at the moment and uh, I get a really good run on the inside here, you know, I, I'm, I have the corner pretty much, or I have the apex at least, so he has to break up so he doesn't crash into me, and uh, I managed to get back in, into 7th position. So now I really have to push to try and gain that last position because this is not uh, enough for me, and as you can see I think that was Hisen on the right, managed to pass him up to 6th position, and uh, one thing that has happened since Heist was released that we got those flare guns and uh, you can see ahead of me Romare Ryan popping flares like a complete jackass and uh, getting a little bit of a light show here. <laughs> Moving on, back in sixth, still in sixth position, going quite well. But now you see Hisen has managed to catch up to me, he gets the inside, I try to defend on the outside there to get the inside in the next corner, and I manage actually to do so, like keep my position for a short while there at least, but then I go wide in that corner and Hisen gets the run on the inside, and uh, by this time he has already completed the overtake, and uh, now I really need to focus on trying to keep up with Hisen, and uh, of course now I'm back into 7th position. Here you see one of the first lappings in the game in this race, and uh, as I and GT trees are in mes mesas, the Meriwether mesas, and uh, of course the first lapping went really good. There are no issues whatsoever, and also at the same time I can tell you that GT twos are in injections.
So going into this corner, yeah, you can see that Mayor Ryan has had some clear issues. I really thought that he had uh, managed to gain control on his car by that and tried to go on the outside and to cut in on the apex like normally, but he spun out again and I hit him. Uh, it was unfortunate, of course, it slowed me down and it slowed his recovery down. And uh, I am a little bit startled by it, so you know, wide lines. I take wide lines and that's never good. So, but at least it has allowed me to get up into six. 6th position and uh, as you can see here Mayor Ryan trying to distract me by popping flares but you know gotta try and keep your head calm even when the trolls are out on the field so here I managed now to catch up to another GD3 car to try and overtake and uh, really get a good it went quite smoothly there no issues just Cut on the inside on the big straight and no problem whatsoever. So we're now 45 minutes into the race and there you can see Mayor Ryan has disconnected. So that means I don't have to worry about that guy anymore and I won't have to worry about flares distracting me either. But that was pretty much actually the last part of the race. Like the first half was really good but the, ne the next part was not really good and I, I didn't enjoy this race too much. I just decided to run, just do a face palm and then run into the goal but uh, six out of third yeah you know it could be worse i've had much worse uh, races than that so i guess i could be happy with that so sixth doesn't give me too much points but you know it's uh, pretty much where I, the same area where i always finish in these multi-class endurance rounds and uh, yeah i guess i'm gonna have to be happy with that there's your winner in GD1, Craig9876, and uh, the winner in GT2 was Brophy1322, and uh, if I don't remember wrong, we had Smitty112 as a winner in GT3. I want to thank you for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, also leave a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. You know, feel free to subscribe to my channel in case for more content and uh, well, until later guys, see you next time.